Bloody Mary is an absolute classic cocktail. There's a whole lot of debate about where it was originally created. Some say it was created at the Savoy in London, and some say Harry's New York bar in Paris should get the credit. Either way, it's a fantastic savory cocktail. So this is the way we're gonna start it. First of all, we're gonna rim the glass. And remember that the rim only lives on the outside of the glass. Really, it's not an ingredient in the cocktail at all. So we're just gonna roll the glass in our rimming ingredient so that we've just got the rimmer on the outside of the glass and not the inside. I'll leave that off to the side for now. I'm gonna build my Bloody Mary over fresh ice in a Boston shaker. I'm gonna start with a little bit of Liam Perrins, about three shakes. For this one, I'm gonna use smoked Chipotle Tabasco. That smoky flavor is fantastic with tomato juice. I'm gonna add about an ounce and a half of Grey Goose Vodka. And finally, I'm gonna to top it with tomato juice. For this one, we don't necessarily wanna chill it, but we wanna make sure that all those flavors are mixed together. For that reason, I'm gonna roll it back and forth. Not to dilute it so much, but just to make sure that all those flavors are mixed. At this point, I can add some fresh ice to my service glass and strain the cocktail off. Now, the classic version of this drink obviously is made with the red table variety of Tabasco, but this Chipotle Bloody Mary is gonna be absolutely delicious. Garnish is really up to you. I like to add a little bit of citrus in the form of a lemon wheel. And my favorite new garnish, which is a banderillo. It's a gherkin skewered with an olive, a red pepper, and a pickled onion. It's like a meal in a glass. Bon appetit, the Bloody Mary. Thank you.